Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're comparing Terraform and Pulumi with Nitric by deploying the same app to AWS twice. Once with Terraform and once with Pulumi. We'll explore their features, similarities, differences, and strengths to help you decide which tool suits your infrastructure needs best. Let's get started. We are using Nitric for this comparison because it allows you to swap out providers without changing your application code. With our open source providers, the infrastructure remains consistent, making it an ideal testing ground for evaluating both tools. Nitric's flexibility means our team has a detailed understanding of both Terraform and Pulumi. In a typical Nitric project, a developer writes the app code while Nitric extracts infrastructure requirements. It then uses providers to integrate with IAC tools, supporting Terraform and Pulumi out of the box. For our Terraform demo, envision a team with a TypeScript developer working alongside DevOps engineers. So this app contains one service called Photos. It's just a files bucket and a Photos API with two routes that read and write to the bucket. So let's go ahead and create a Nitrix stack called TF that uses the AWS Terraform provider. This creates a Nitric stack file containing configuration for a specific cloud provider. I've set the AWS region and you can see the provider name and version defined here. Let's use the Nitric up command to generate our Terraform app. Nitric builds and runs the container, identifying the necessary app infrastructure and passes it to the Terraform Nitric provider, which synthesizes the app and generates the output in JSON or HCL. Let's take a look at the output. Inside cdktf.out, you'll find the generated Terraform stack. Under assets, all the pre-built Terraform modules for each cloud resource are available. Since this output uses Terraform's domain specific language, HCL, the DevOps team can efficiently manage and extend complex infrastructures with its declarative syntax and extensive ecosystem. Are you ready? It's time to use Terraform to deploy our app. Inside our Terraform stack, we'll run Terraform init to initialize our configuration. Next, we'll execute Terraform plan to review the resources that will be deployed. Everything looks good. Finally, we'll proceed with Terraform apply to deploy the infrastructure. Once this is deployed, let's check out the AWS console to view our resources. We should see an S3 bucket named files, the photos API gateway with our routes and the Lambda function for the service. Everything looks good. You might be wondering how Terraform handles state. It uses JSON files with a .tf state extension. By default, these files are stored locally and are not encrypted. It is a good idea to version and encrypt our state files, so we can do this using a SaaS provider like HashiCorp Cloud Platform or by using an encrypted storage bucket. Now onto Pulumi. Pulumi is the new kid on the block compared to Terraform. It aims to deliver a developer first experience with support for multiple language SDKs with an open source model. In contrast, Terraform requires using its domain specific language HCL and operates under the business source license. Like Terraform, Pulumi can create, deploy, and manage infrastructure on any cloud. So let's give it a try. Let's create a new stack with the AWS provider all default Nitric providers use Pulumi for ease of use and an improved dev experience. We'll set the region and start deploying. Nitric will build and run the containers, then send the resource requirements to the AWS Pulumi provider for deployment. You'll see a real-time visualization of your resources being deployed. And since I'm already authenticated with Pulumi Cloud, the state is stored there. But you can also store it in your own backend or use another SaaS provider. All deployed. Let's check out the resources in the AWS console. An S3 bucket, APIs, and a Lambda function. Everything's in place. Compared to the Terraform demo, you might notice there are fewer steps with Pulumi. This is because the entire provider is written with the Go Pulumi SDK and called via the Nitric CLI. Here are some code snippets from the Nitric Core repo. These providers can be extended or serve as inspiration for your own IAC solutions. A great use case for this would be a team using JavaScript and Go without a dedicated DevOps role, benefiting from this flexibility and familiar languages. Before we wrap up, let's clean up our cloud resources. For the Terraform stack, we'll use the Terraform destroy command. And for the Pulumi provider, Nitric down will use the Pulumi destroy command underneath to handle cleanup. And of course, you can see the resources being deleted in real time. Choosing between Terraform and Pulumi depends on your team's needs and preferences. Terraform is ideal for those who value stability and a mature ecosystem. Its declarative syntax and HCL is perfect for teams with DevOps experience looking to manage complex infrastructures efficiently. 
Bloomy offers flexibility with support for multiple programming languages, making it a great choice for developer-centric teams who want to integrate infrastructure management with their existing workflows. Both tools provide robust capabilities for cloud infrastructure, so consider your team's expertise and project requirements when deciding. If you have any questions or want to chat, join our Discord. Also, visit the Nitric repo to check out our IAC providers. Thanks for watching.